Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the color of grass inside of Minecraft. Let me just show you this real fast. I have a regular grass block here, and right there's some desert, so I'll click over there. There's the grass on desert. There's a the grass desert next to Badlands. If I go over here on Badlands, there it is on Badlands. And then right here, this is Plains, and there it is on the Plains. And this is easy to do, but it requires using Optifine. So let's start by showing where you can download and install Optifine. Here we are the Optifine homepage, and you want the downloads right there. I'll put the link for this in the description. Click on Downloads. It takes you right to this page. Right now we're in Minecraft 1.18.1, and here is the correct download for that. If you're working with an earlier version of Minecraft, go right here, it says Show All Versions, and then you can choose an earlier version right down there. We'll go ahead and we'll download the 1.18.1. It's going to be giving you an ad page right here. Just wait for it to say skip upper right hand corner. Don't do anything with this, leave that alone. Go up here, it says skip, click on that. And then here is the actual download button. I'll click on this and we'll download this onto my hard drive. And I'll make this in a folder I named Packs. It's just a new folder called a Packs, just someplace to build this pack in. And I'll download right to this location. Choose save, there we go. And if you get another add in here, just close that window out. And there we go, there's that Optifine download. Now to install, just double click and you get the installer right here. It's going to choose the right folder for that, that's correct, and then simply click on install. There you go, and you should see it right down here, Optifine. You can also double check over here at installations, and it should be the top one listed in your installations right there. Okay, that's all installed and ready to go. Let's now go back here to our working folder, and the next thing we need to do is to get this image right here. And this is a palette image, and this is a sample that comes from Optifine. Let me show you the page where you can get this, where you can download this. And it's back here at the Optifine website, and click on Documentation right there. And then here, click on Images, and you want the first one right there, BiomeGridTemplate.png. So go ahead and click on it. It'll bring it up right here. Click on the Download button, and then download that into the same folder that we just downloaded Optifine into. And mine's right here. This actually is the basic template for working with grass. Okay, so now open this up. You can edit this in any good paint program. And this time I'll be editing this inside of Paint.net, which is a free paint program and great for doing graphics for Minecraft. I'll put a link for that also in the description. Let me bring that up. There we go, and I have our working folder here in front. The easiest way to get an image into Paint.net is just to grab the image and drag it in. There it is. Okay, now go up on the rulers up here. Notice that these are in inches. I want to have this in pixels. Let's go up to View, come down to Pixels right there. It's now in pixels. Now the way this works is that across the middle here, this is your biomes. Notice how this is all grass colors in here. These are biomes that aren't used, biome numbers that aren't used. These are biome numbers that are used in the game. And each one of these vertical lines in here is an individual biome. Some of these are very close together, so there are several biomes use the same color range. Now if I zoom in even further up here, like this, you can see the individual pixels. Went real, real tight. There we go. If I count across here, this is column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it goes all the way up here to 40, well, 39 actually for this first set. So if each one of these is a biome, they need to find the number for the biome that we're working with inside of the game. And also on this, notice how it does get lighter as you go down here towards the bottom. So you really want to do a gradient in here, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to do a solid color, just to make it easier for this video. If you do a gradient, it's going to work out a little bit better, a little bit more naturalistic looking. Only difference here is that with a gradient, anything at position zero is going to be at the colder or darker ends here. Anything in the middle is going to be right around in here somewhere. If you look to the left-hand side, this is about 90. I think that the beach I was standing on was about 80. This would be right around here. This would be the color range for that beach. And then the higher up you go into the mountains, the lighter the colors get. Okay, let's now see where we can find these biome numbers. And first, let's go back and take a look at the biomes that we have inside of the game. Okay, see where I am right now. And for that, hit the F3 key. And it brings up this list, and you can then see exactly which biome you're standing on. And right over there, left-hand side, it says biome. And I'm standing on the Minecraft Badlands. Let me just change my view here. And I'll walk right over here. And as you can see, I'm now standing in the Plains, Minecraft Plains. So we have Plains right here, and then just a little bit of Badlands poking in right through there. And then just over this way, we go right over here, we're standing in Desert. So we have those three biomes, the Plains, Badlands, and the Desert. Okay, let's go back to the internet, and I'll show you where you can find the numbers, the column numbers, for those different biomes. And here we go. 
I'll put this link in the description and right down here. Here is the number right hand side. Notice that the void is that column zero and we have planes and that's column one, number ID one. Down here is desert and that's number five. So we have one and five. And we'll scroll down just a little bit. There's the Badlands right here and that's 25. So you want columns one, five and 25. Okay, let's go back over to paint.net and let's change the color in those specific columns. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna to go to this tool right over here. This is the rectangular select tool. First column is zero, of course. Second column here is column one. I'm just gonna pull a marquee like this. And you can go a little wide when you're pulling this down, but just go back to get the single column when you're finished. So I'll do that. I'll just go to the wide here and just pull straight down, get down to the bottom. There we go. And I'll pull it back so it's just one column wide. And let's find a nice blue color in here. I'll go a little different than I did before. Just kind of a lighter blue. Really easy to see kind of a nice light cyan color here. And then go up and grab the paint bucket and just click inside that one column. Okay, we've now done that one. That's the planes. Let's now scroll back to the top again. And you may need to click in a few times to get this completely filled in. There we go, that's done. Okay, Control D to deselect. Back to that rectangle tool here. And we want column five. So look at the top of here, that is five right there. So that's this column. Or you can just count over. The same thing is pull down a column like this. And five is our desert color. So for that, I had kind of a brown. I'm gonna go more orange this time than I did last time, kind of like that. There you go, looks pretty good. And then same thing, paint bucket, let's fill that in. And I'll scroll up and do another fill right there. And that should get the whole column. There it is, okay. Control D to deselect that one. And our last one was a Badlands and that was over at 25. So look at the top of here and 25 is right there. So I come straight down and that's this column. Same thing, let's just pull this straight down to the bottom, get it back to just one column here. There it is. And we had kind of a magenta in there. I'll stick with the magenta color, I think, on this one. Right there is pretty good. Paint bucket, and let's fill that, and scroll up, and then just finish that fill right there. Okay, Control D to deselect. So I've now colored those three biomes with really bright, unusual colors, just so we can really see how that works in here. All the rest of these will be the colors for any other biomes that have grass. They'll go back to kind of more naturalistic colors. And that's why I like using this sample for this one particular block because it has all those natural colors for that. All right, that's done. Let's now just save this out. And let's go up to File. Come down to Save As. And it should bring up the same folder that you are in. I'm going to rename this one here. And I'll call it Optifine Grass. There we go. And choose Save. Then OK. And that's all done. And we're finished now with Paint.net. and close that down. And here's our new color map over here for the optifying grass. Now we need to build a few folders and also a file for this. And you see I have an example right over here, but I'll start this one from scratch. Let's just delete that. My new folder, let's go up here to new and folder. And the first one's called assets. There we go. Go inside of assets, new folder. This one is Minecraft. There we go. Inside of this one, this is where you would normally put textures if you are doing a texture pack. Instead, we need a folder called Optifine. So new folder, Optifine. There we go. Inside this one, we need a new folder since we're doing color maps. We need a folder called Color Map. There we go. And inside of this one, we need one more folder because we're doing a custom color map here. And this is custom. So new folder, custom. When you're doing different things with colors inside of Optifine, you will be working with the color map folder or the custom folder, depending upon what it is that you're doing. And in each one of my videos, I'll show you which one to put the color map into. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to control C to copy that. And let's go inside here all the way in to custom and control V to paste it into this location. Okay, now we need to make a properties file. And I always like to use Notepad++. I recommend using that for this editing. It's a free download. So there's no reason not to get it. And it's the best one to use for editing Minecraft files. Let me bring that up. There we go. And in here, we just need three lines. First one says format equals and grid. And this is a grid format texture map. So that's what we're working with right here. Okay, next one we need to have is blocks. And we'll finish filling this in in just a little bit here. And this is the name of the blocks that you're going to be recoloring with this particular color map. But I need to show you one thing in game before we come back to that. Okay, then come down to the final line here. And this is source and equals. And this is the name of that texture map right there. That's what this is. So for that, I'll go back here and I'm just going to select the name like that and control C copy. 
back over here and we need to tell this file to look in this exact same folder not go looking anyplace else but to look right here you do that just by putting in a dot and a forward slash it's going to look right here in the same location as this file is saved and then control v to paste in the name of that texture map so almost all set the last we need to have here is the name of the block that we're working with so let's quickly go back over to minecraft and find the name of the block okay with that i'll hit the e key and bring up the inventory right here there's the block and normally it was just going to say grass block on there if you hit the f3 key that brings up all this stuff in behind and then you hit the f3 and the h key and that will then bring up this fancier advanced version of the little rollover and that gives us the name right there and it's grass underscore block let's go back now and put that name in the file there we go and it's grass underscore block okay that's all we need in this particular file now go up here where it says encoding click on ansi and click on the save button and then navigate back into that folder and it's all the way in here next to the color map and this one you can call us anything you want for the first part of this i'm just going to call this one grass and then a dot and then properties since this is the properties file for our grass okay choose save and that's now done and there is the grass properties okay that's all done we're finished with that now we're ready to build our resource pack and put this in the game i'll just go back here to the packs folder there it is now for this we need three things the assets folder we just finished building that we need a pack png this is your image that just shows in the list of resource packs in the game if you want to you can just use any image in here you can use the default png if you want to i'll put a link for that you can download that from my website if you don't want to go ahead and find that someplace and we also need a pack mc meta file right here and again i edit this inside of notepad plus plus let me open this one up now you can't get this file from the jar file inside of minecraft 118 it no longer is included in those jar files so instead you can either download this from my website i'll put a link for that of course or you can just copy this right here and i'll put this code right into the description you can just copy that and paste it into a new file now if you do that make sure you set that encoding to the ansi format that's very important okay so we have this all done name it anything you want to right here doesn't matter this is just the description that shows up and if you're in 118.1 the pack format is eight so that's all set mine's already set to go so Let's now just grab those files. I'll grab the assets, hold the control key down, grab the pack MC meta and the pack PNG file. And I'm in Windows 11 right now, so just right click and compress to zip and then give it a name. I'll just call it Optifine Grass. I'm gonna call it Grass 2 because I already have Grass 1 in the game that was for the demo. And if you're working in Windows 10, just go up to the share tab and click on zip and then you're back to the same place again. Okay, so now get this into the game. So bring the launcher back up again. There we go go up to installations and right here click on that folder and then come down to the resource packs folder there we are and then take our new resource pack and just drag it over here and drop it into that folder get that out of the way and then we can play the game and i'll take it to the title screen and there's my custom title screen if you want to find out how i did this stuff there is some video links for that in the description come down to options and in resource packs and then look over on the left hand side there it is up to find grass 2 click on that arrow brings it over here it's now in the game and activated choose done done single player and i'll go back into the world okay here we go notice that the grass block doesn't change here that's because the one that's in your hand doesn't change color but if i look over here to the side there's all those changed grass blocks right there works anywhere you are in the map it's going to be changing those colors based upon the biome that you're in you can see there's a blend happening right beneath that tree right there Okay, so there you go, and I'll see you next time.